So number one, divine healing is the right and responsibility of every Christian. Number two, any hindrance to the healing of any Christian is not of God. Right? It's either a hindrance that you believe or somebody believes something, but it's not from God. So if you, if you meet resistance, it's not of God. Do you get that? Now, I could stand here all day and say this, but you've got to get this. In other words, if you lay hands on the sick and they don't recover, that resistance is not from God. In other words, God isn't holding anything back. That is the devil trying to resist you, and we are to overcome him because he's evil with good. Do you get it? So if you lay hands on the sick and you don't see instant results, do it again. Blast that thing again. Go after it again. Get more forceful. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent press in and take it by force. Amen? Amen? So you have to press into these things sometimes, because you tell a devil, okay, so some of the things you're going to realize, I'm going to be quoting John Lake, I'm going to be quoting Wigglesworth. I actually quote Wigglesworth probably more than I do John Lake, to be honest with you. And, you know, Wigglesworth said if you pray... Uh, 90, if you pray a hundred times, you prayed 99 times in unbelief. Okay. Now, that, you know, it's a cute saying, but he's wrong. Okay? And it was probably the only stupid thing Wigglesworth ever said. Everything else he said is wise and good. All right? But he was wrong in that. Why? Because Jesus had to lay hands on a man twice. Right? And he didn't say, well, I've already done that once, so don't, don't, don't come back. No, he did it twice, and the second time the man was totally healed. Right? So if you have to lay hands on a person twice, do it. Now, don't do it if you don't need to. Right? If they get well, don't do it again. You don't need to do it again, so just don't do it again. You do it as many times as you have to. Why? Because you're giving them what you've got. Yeah. You understand? Healing doesn't fall from heaven on them. Healing, com healing comes out of you. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So that healing comes out of you and into them. That spirit of God that you have is what heals them. So it doesn't fall from heaven. This idea of healing is going to fall on that, that's not what happens. The Holy Spirit falls on people, but once he's in them, he doesn't fall on them. Now he's in them, and he pours out of them. And when he pours out of them, now you minister just like Jesus did. You got that? So you have to recognize that what you're giving them, you're giving out of them. When uh, Peter was at the, at the heal the lame man in Acts chapter 3, he said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. Right? That's what you're here to learn. How do you give what you got? Right? Because you got it. You just got to learn how to give it. Amen. And so this week, we're going to show you how to give it. Amen? Amen. Yeah. All right. So number three. Well, uh, number two, the, any hindrance. Don't settle for hindrance. Don't walk. See, most people, when there's a hindrance, they walk away and say, well, it must not have been God's will. Well, they must not have had enough faith. Well, there must be sin in their life. Nope. That's all cop-outs, and you shouldn't take it. Right? Because you make an excuse once, it'll become the rule. So that's a hindrance. It's a resistance. Never let the devil resist you. Amen? Amen. You overcome. You're here to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Yeah. Right? Not to walk around them. Yeah. But to put your foot on them and to smash them down and to demonstrate the victory of Jesus over his enemy of sickness and, and death. Now, Wigglesworth believed that all sickness and disease, he treated it all like it was a devil itself. So if you had a cancer, he's going to command the spirit of cancer, he's going to command this devil to come out of you, and depending on where it's at, he's probably going to hit you. All right? So that's the way he ministered. And, and I will tell you, I tend to agree with him. All sickness and disease, now, every sickness and disease may not be an individual spirit itself, but it all comes from the devil. And therefore, you can talk to it like it's a devil because that's its origin. Right? And so you can command it. Whether I say, uh, you know, spirit of cancer, come out, or whether I say, be healed, it doesn't matter. My, it's because God is going to honor my words and mainly my intent. And my intent is that you be free and healed. You got that? So it's not always, now see, this is why it's not a formula. If it was a formula, you would have to say exactly right. And this is why people have doubt and unbelief. They think, how do I know if it's a spirit? How do I know if it's a, a sickness? And if you don't know, you think, well, now I don't know, that's a doubt. And when you have that doubt, now you're praying or you're doing something, but you're not doing it in full faith. You're doing it with a doubt of, what if I'm wrong? Guess what? Ain't going to work. So you're going into it already defeated. 
So you have to put everything. Okay, John 10, 10 is real clear. It's a dividing line. The thief comes not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came to, that you might have life and have it more abundant. So draw that line. Life in abundance, Jesus. Stealing, killing, destroying, devil. What does sickness do? It steals your health, steals your money, tries to kill your body, tries to destroy your witness. It's of the devil. Call it what it is and tell it to leave. Amen. Isn't that simple? Amen. Now, and, if, and you say, well, it, which one is it? Doesn't matter. It's still got to go. Right? If a policeman goes to evict somebody out of a house, he doesn't care if they're male or female. Why? Because all he sees is a name on a deal and says, okay, you've got to leave this premises. Well, it doesn't matter male or female. It doesn't matter if it's sickness or a spirit. It's got to go if you tell it to. Why? Because you're not there representing you. You are there representing Jesus. And if Jesus were there in the flesh, this thing would obey him. Is that right? Well, I got news for you. He's there in the flesh, in you. Right? He's in your flesh. Amen. All right, so, number three. This is a big one. God is not our problem. He is our help. Amen? People, sometimes they don't realize, God, why'd you do this? God, why'd you let this happen? He let it happen because you let it happen. Why? He gave you the power to bind and loose. He said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Where does the binding loosing start? Earth, with you. So if something's going on here and, it, and you don't want it to, Tell it to stop. Don't, don't ask God why it's going on. He'll tell you because you ain't doing your job. Right? And so you have to step up and exert the authority and dominion of Jesus Christ. You watch. You, you'll see this during the week. So, number four, any hindrance. Oh, I've got to send you on break. Wow. That had to happen quick. Any hindrance. You notice I keep reading right on? That's just another second. <laughs> any hindrance to healing is on the part of the enemy. It's the enemy that resists. Number five, any sickness or disease can be overcome by a Christian if the Christian will exercise faith and power. Okay, we're going to get into all these things. Number six, the enemy is not a serious hindrance and can be overcome by any Christian using the available tools and weapons provided by God. End of story, right? You're going to notice these are all very absolute because God's absolute. Number seven, the enemy can only be truly defeated by spiritual weapons and not by carnal natural weapons devised by man. Man can suppress sickness. He cannot destroy it. God can end it. Number eight, Christians and non-Christians without faith for healing can be healed when Christians exercise kingdom authority. That's big, right? And number nine, all sickness and disease is a work of the enemy and is to be defeated whenever and wherever they are encountered. 